Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana with your weekly Dash of Degs, and today we are making an edible costume. So much fun. Best of all, it's so cute. Honestly, this is perfect to put on top of a pie. You can put it on your Thanksgiving table as your centerpiece. It's so amazing. It serves as a bread roll if you want. It's delicious, pumpkin-y, and so fun and so cute. I just wanna... So, let's get pumpkin patching. Let's get going. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to join the Dash fam. We meet here every week, and I wanna see a lovely face here next week. Alrighty, guys, let's get going. My little kitty! <laughs> so we're going to start by covering our bowl in aluminum foil. <laughs> so got my bowl all covered in foil. I'm going to take my pastry brush and some butter that I've melted. I feel like this is a complete waste of butter and it's breaking my heart. But I'm going to take this butter and just make sure this is non-stick. feel like I'm painting. This is like arts and crafts. So much fun. Alrighty, so I have got my pastry. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm gonna try not to drag it. Now I have two rectangles, and now I'm gonna cut those rectangles in half diagonally. So we have four triangles. I'm gonna put this on my bowl. All right, so I'm going to put these on my bowl. I'm gonna put the pointy part at the top and the flat part at the base. Next piece. And I'm going to overlap them just a bit. I hope I have enough puff pastry for this. I'm getting a little scared. I don't think I'm gonna have enough puff pastry. I might cry. How am I gonna make this work, guys? Oh no, I definitely don't have enough. I definitely don't have enough. Let's just let's just keep going. Maybe I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Okay. We might have to pivot. Um, okay, no, this ain't gonna work. My bowl is too big. Okay. Be right back. Gotta get a smaller bowl. I got another bowl. Wish me luck. Oh my goodness. This is a disaster. <laughs> the learn from your girl Dana. And do the same. Not as I did. Don't use your biggest bowl unless you bought more than one box of puff pastry. Let's see if I can just use the same one so I don't have to do it all over again. Because who wants to waste precious butter? I mean, perfect. You guys, this is kind of disgusting. I'm getting butter all over my hands, but this is working. I literally just washed my hands, so this is okay, but... Oh, take two. We got this, you guys. We got this. All right, you guys, I'm still kind of afraid because I feel like my bowl might still be too big. It's okay, we're gonna make it work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's not gonna work. I just need like two more pieces. That's all. I mean, I've got this smaller bowl right here, but like, look how tiny this is. That's not fun at all. I wanted it to be huge. Hmm. Let's see. If I can make it stretch a little bit, we're going into dangerous territory over here. I, I mean, okay. Okay. Okay, but we know this is working stretching them out. All right, my pivot worked and of course make sure your hands are clean I mean, that's a given but in case you needed the reminder mm. Nasty you guys oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little paring knife and I'm going to cut the top off of one of these so I can make a leaf with it Okay, so I've got my three pieces that I'm going to make leaves with and then the rest I'm gonna pinch the top to make a stem and now I'm gonna take the not sharp end of my paring knife And I'm going to make little stitches to keep my puff pastry together I feel like I need to work a little bit faster because all the butter inside of my puff pastry is starting to melt 
while to dissolve my hiccups. Because the bottom doesn't look cute, I'm going to trim the edges just to get excess off so it looks at least a little bit more uniform. Now let's make our leaves. I have my little triangle. I just kind of made a curve, you know, I've already got my two edges. So I'm just taking off one of the edges and then I'm gonna stick the bottom on. So it looks like a leaf that's curling. Yes. Y'all, look how cute my little leaf is looking. Totally forgot I need to give my pumpkin a face. She looks so cute. She's smiling. <laughs> I was thinking it would be fun to add like pumpkin flavor on top of this instead of just a normal egg wash. I feel like that would be so much fun. So let's try that. So we're gonna add a scoop of pumpkin puree and the rest of our not quite so melted butter. Now we're gonna add some pumpkin pie spice. Ooh, it already smells like Thanksgiving. Let's see if this works. I think it's a little too thick, but let's try. Just gonna brush it on our pastry. Give it some color and some flavor. This is perfect for Thanksgiving. Put it on top of pumpkin pie. You can't tell me that that is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. For my leaves, I want them to be green. So I'm thinking I've got some green food coloring and I think if I add it to some of my egg wash, I should be able to have some green leaves, right? I think I'm on to something. I'm gonna take the regular egg wash and I'm gonna brush it on my stem so my stem can get nice and glossy and brown. And now for the leaves. Let's see how I do. Let's put the green egg wash on the leaves. Oh my gosh, that's working. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. My heart. One more thing and we're ready to put it in the oven. Because I don't wanna have to try to carry this out of the oven with mitts, I am going to put it on a baking sheet so it's easy to pull out the oven. Otherwise, I would probably drop this and cry a thousand tears. I'm just gonna sprinkle on some sugar to make it nice and sweet. Cause I like sweet Halloweens. So I don't want scary Halloweens. Now we are going to pop this baby in the oven for 30 minutes. I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I am so excited. I can't wait. I mean, look how cute it looks already. 20 minutes later. So I just wanted to sneak a peek and I want to cry. You guys, it all fell off of the bowl. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I don't know what happened. They completely slid off of the bowl. Let's see, do you think I can like save it somehow? Oh my gosh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> what happened i don't even know what to do do i have to make it over gosh what a fail i'm thinking maybe there was too much butter oh, no. <laughs> wait Alright you guys, should I run to Target and get some more puff pastry just so I can redo this? <laughs> so like even the front was splitting. I think it's because I stretched it so much. Y'all, this is a disaster. Only literally the front part stayed together. Maybe I needed to like push it together more. Alright, off to Target! Alright guys, so I got the goods. I am ready to try this again. Is it nine o'clock at night? You bet it is, but I'm ready to get this done right. I don't know if it's because of the butter that everything slid off, but I'm using Pam, because I'm just a little too scared. Let's see if this helps. So the puff pastry sheets that I just bought were in the freezer section, and I thought, oh, I could still just unfold them, and I totally just, crack the sheet. I'm just gonna sit and wait for these to thaw out a little bit, I guess. I honestly thought this was gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> All right, you guys, I really hope that these are thawed because it is 11 o'clock at night and I am ready to go to bed. Let's try this again. So I've got this piece, I'm gonna put it on and really stick it on there. That could have also been the problem before. I didn't really just stick it on. All right, so it's really stuck on there this time, I hope. 
These pieces are already just feeling better than the last batch that I bought. Maybe because I bought store brand and this is the Pepperidge Farm, I don't know. Let's try to pierce these together. I'm gonna use my finger first to just pinch the seam, to adhere the seams to each other. Make sure it stays together this time. And then I'll use a knife to hopefully like stitch together. So I'm not cutting off the edges this time because I'm afraid that that might have been part of the reason why it fell. I don't know but I'm not taking any chances with my beautiful pumpkin. I mean, it looks so good. I'm really proud of this one, you guys. Like, really, really proud of it. I'm hoping it turns out amazing. Right now, I'm cutting little strips and making little curls because everything looks better with curls. <laughs> but why not add some fun and personality to my pumpkin? I'm taking a piece, just kind of wrapping around my finger. And the hardest part is just getting it to stay on the dough. Cute? You think I'm cute? Yes or no? Yes? <laughs> okay guys, if it all goes wrong, at least it looks beautiful right now. Look at it. It looks so good. And the leaves on the top and the stump, it all looks amazing. So, the moment of truth. Let's go put it in the oven. I'm afraid. All right, my friend, see you later. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. So the green didn't really stay, but that's okay. I'm going to now cut off the little edge bits and let's give her a try. Tastes like puff pastry with sugar on it. Can't go wrong with that. I wouldn't say it tastes like pumpkin though. I'm slightly disappointed and very surprised that I put all of that pumpkin on it and it gave it a great color, but no flavor at all. It's a good thing for the sugar. Otherwise, this would just be straight dough. For the moment of truth. <laughs> what a cry is this so beautiful. <laughs> just love it so much. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> this is the best treat of them all. It's currently one in the morning. So I am a little delirious, very hungry, and so, so happy right now. The pumpkin definitely added that beautiful color because I can tell in spaces where I didn't quite get, it's just kind of white and pale. The pumpkin really helps sell pumpkin appearance. I would say the food coloring mixed with the egg wash wasn't really the best, best idea because the egg wash turned brown. Mixed with the food coloring, it just made it browner, but you can see parts of the green. It's a nice little effect. If you don't succeed, you must try 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 again because look my first one was a flop but this one is amazing i was going to call this video edible costume because envisioning this as being like i could replace my bumblebees and wear it over my head and then you know as you get hungry throughout the night you're at a party and you're like dang they didn't bring no food you can munch on your costume i mean win-win i'm afraid to take it off of the bowl i'm afraid it might fall apart Baby, baby, baby. It's okay, we can, we can fix that maybe. So remember I rolled the foil underneath. I'm gonna push the foil out and then very carefully sliding my hand under. Oh my gosh, this is giving me anxiety. Oh wait, why don't I just do this? Flip it over, pull the bowl out. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay guys, let's make some movie magic. Can we skip to the good part? <laughs> Did I nail it? <laughs> Feeling like Kris Jenner right now. You're doing great, sweetie. Taking pictures of my little cutie. 
you're doing great. Look at its face. It's just like looking at a little puppy dog. This is so cute. I just love him so much. Just look at all that personality. I mean. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I sure did, even though there was a failure. Pretty big one. I am so happy with the result of this one because, you know, I learned from my mistakes and I made this one just so much better with a little bit, a lot of bit more love and tension and I am just so happy. Like, this is warming my heart heart right now and I don't know if it's just because it's one in the morning but I am so happy right now I hope that you guys are happy and you guys have an amazing Halloween and subscribe because if you don't like this one you'll like the next one and I hope to see you guys back here next week all right guys happy Halloween I love you all oh I'm struggling so much today and I just started it's smiling <laughs> I want a real pumpkin head, not just a baby pumpkin. Sorry about the knife. <sighs> ah, it's hot. I mean, it did just come out the oven. Look at my pumpkin. It's how cute I get that. You're so fluffy, I'm gonna die. You know, I'm not a pumpkin pie person. What kind of pie do you guys like? My favorite is a Kentucky Derby pie. Oh, just, just thinking about it right now, like I, oh, oh my gosh, so good.